Hey everyone, it's Rad, and I want to thank Keen for they are the sponsor of this video. And don't skip ahead, for I do have a special and exciting announcement to uh, make, including a very, very special gift for anyone who is watching, which I will get to it a uh, soon. For those who doesn't know Keen, this amazing website provides you with an access to a vetted psychics, spiritual advisors who can provide a guidance and insight in into life's challenges, into clarity in love, into relationships, and as well into career and, and many, many more. And Keen, it is a one of the most uh, affordable way to get an instant psychic reading with a professional at any time, 24 seven. What I love about Keen is that it is perfect for anyone who wants to talk with someone right away, anytime, anywhere there is no wait and it is excellent if you do have a burning question that literally needs an answer right now and it is double perfect for if you are on a budget too and here is where my gift for you guys is coming in for anybody who wants to talk with advisor on keen just click my link in the description down below and you get a 10 minutes for just only two dollars and just see for yourself for i do support keen and i have been around the block a lot when it comes to um psychics readers and especially prophets and i can tell you that there are those who are false but uh judging by the way keen found me i can tell you that they are venting their uh advisors uh, very carefully and you i do encourage you to try it out especially if you do have questions that i cannot answer like for example about health like for example about a reallocation because Saro is just not designed for that uh, for example as well yes or no questions as well guys it's only two dollars for 10 minutes and i cannot think of a better way to try it out and uh, get the clarity you seek so there are a uh, tarot readers, psychic readers, uh, love and relationship advisors, and as well spiritual advisors there. Uh, and you can take your time to make a selection of the reader of your choice, establish a bond, which is going to establish as well a goal, be it a uh, intention setting, be it a, a chakra clearing, be it healing, manifesting, and many, many more. And what is also amazing there is that Keen provides every customer of theirs with a monthly discount, which is a um, clearly a way to show you that they do appreciate you being there and it also provides you with a way to afford multiple readings should you need so the signing up process very simple i'm going to show you how all that you have to do is just watch my screen very few simple clicks for their website it is made intuitively and it's just you cannot get it wrong and just in these few simple clicks you are get yourself ready to make your selection of uh, readers and dive into your spiritual journey right away so to use my gift just click in the link in the description box and get your 10 minutes with a keen advisor of your choosing for just only two us dollars and and see for yourself how amazing they really are with the variety of their uh, advisors and as well the prices which have a ton of variety too should you be on a budget thank you keen for sponsoring this video Right, Sagittarius, uh, this is going to be your uh, monthly tarot reading for April 2022. Uh, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel and you do wish to support us, just leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our uploads uh, nor a live streams as well. And uh, let me give these cards a really good shuffle and. Uh, I'm going to see what kind of a month you're going to have. So the first card for your month, uh, that is going to be uh, Justice. Followed by the second card, which stands as the Lovers. Moving next, uh, we do have the third card of the Seven of Wands. Followed by the fourth card of your month 
which stands as the six of a pentacles so these are the four prime cards of your month and uh, the additional cards we have two of swords to the justice then it is the nine of pentacles to the lovers card moving next we have the seven of wands with the eight of swords and the final one that is going to be the ace of pentacles with the six of pentacles okay so this is going to be a very busy month by the look of it a month where you will have to attend to a undertakings enterprises and above everything else responsibilities that you have already signed yourself up to these two cards here that we do have, the Lovers and the Nine of Pentacles, shows us that you will have little to no choice, unfortunately, to decide what you want to do without facing the consequences of it. Okay, You always have a choice, but you need to know that the consequences of pulling off are going to be severe. In other words, this is a month where you will have to do what, what you need to do rather than a month that you have to do what you want to do but that doesn't bring a negative stuff even on the contrary this is the topic of your month sagittarius okay and uh, by a definition this topic shows that you will do a fantastic job into management you will be able to manage your time correctly you will be able to manage your responsibilities correctly uh, also you know your affinities correct correctly and so on and so forth additionally to it this is going to be a month where every single decision of approach that you make this is not a decision of choice but a decision of approach that you are going to make more or less is going to be not just only effective but is going to be the right decision you move forward and although the month is going to be very very busy you are going to have many things to tackle with in job uh, in your personal life as well uh, <clears throat> in your family life if you do have such okay the month is going to feel peace, peaceful because every time you have to do something, every time you have to address a certain situation, you will know how to how to move through it. You will not have to struggle. You will not have to pretty much reinvent the wheel. And that is going to bring an incentive of peace, fairness, and as well that you do possess the, the necessary astute discernment to pretty much... Uh, do everything right and that is literally the topic here that this is a month where you are going to do everything right with your romantic life and with your career life as well now of course we can look at the justice that a justice is to be brought to the table and that is true but justice doesn't mean in your favor okay i i, I need to underline this because i see a lot of readers for example they are being asked i'm going through a, a divorce they draw the justice and they say oh my god you're gonna end up victorious no the justice says that is the the decision is going to be fair it doesn't have to be in your advantage okay it's just that the decision is going to be just and so the justice is going to be brought to bear and therefore everybody is going to get what they deserve so your uh, benefits here which you are going to have definitely by the end of the month are going to be completely reciprocal to your efforts so give a good work at a at, at job or rather like at your job and by the end of the month you are going to see that that actually pays off slack and no payoff it's it's whatsoever and even by slacking you may get yourself as well fired that's why with the topic you have to address your um uh, how can i put it into words your tasks that you have signed up for with responsibility with a sense of emergency with a sense of responsibility now as you do so like i said the morning is going to become very peaceful it's going to become very um how do you put it into words? Foreseeable, for the lack of better words. And uh, that will be a bit of a problem. Uh, we can see it with these two cards. Probably you would want, um, in order to feel harmonious with your environment, Sagittarius, you may want something new to come up on the horizon. Okay, And unfortunately, such a new thing... Uh, 
it's not shown into the cards and i'm sorry so that there is a month of a repetition that is a month where you have to make the most out of what you have to work with right now rather than expecting that something new is going to come about that you will have to work with i have a lot of in sagittarius i'm not pretty much happy with that but it is uh, it is what it is another thing about these two cards it is that throughout this month um how can i put it into words nothing uh Nothing extraordinary in a sense of opportunity is going to come our way, but also these cards, although uh, because they are neutral, it kind of says that it is cooking around, okay? It's not quite ready yet to, to come up our way, but it is there, it's cooking, and somewhere in the future, in a month or two from now, we are going to have our chance. And for that reason, this month, we have to make sure that we have everything sorted out. We have everything settled that we have to work with at this point, responsibilities, agendas, and so on. So whenever this uh, new opportunity comes about, we are ready to take it. We don't have any other diversion whatsoever. So let's talk about uh, what is going to help you here, Sagittarius, with these two cards. So we do have the Seven of Wands with the Ace of uh, with the Eight of Swords. Well, these two cards, first and foremost, it does speak that you will uh, have that uh, opportunistic side. Okay, what I am trying to say here is that whenever the moment is right, you will know it right there. And you will also going to have that readiness to jump into action and seize the moment, which is going to make you a very strong competitor for a job you want to get. Okay, for a heart that you want to win. A heart, I mean a somebody that you do want to win for a crisis management if you do have a crisis that you have to tackle with and through such a um, how can I put it into words through such a readiness okay you also are going to develop even wider varieties of tools and resources that you that, that you can work with in the future to become better at your job to get a better position or to just improve your current state of love life if you do want to improve it in any way another thing about these cards it is that some of a how can i put it into words misunderstandings but misunderstandings i mean that are created by the inability to fathom somebody tries to explain you something but you just can't fathom what they're trying to say well in this month that is not going to be on the plaza here in fact you will understand everybody what they're where they're coming from what their agenda is uh, what their expectations are and, and so on and so forth and that will allow you to position yourself very adequately to the situations that you are facing into your family into uh, into your career as well but the most beautiful thing about these things is that you are not going to allow anyone and i mean anyone to mess around with you as soon as somebody tries to undermine progress you made try to take away something god forbid all right god forbid something that you that it is yours who poor guy or a poor woman i mean they will not gonna see where where the heat came from you are going to be very um the, the word is not vengeful it's it's more like a um protective right your, your protection is going to be ultimate to what you already have your children marriage job whatever and that will allow you to sustain if sustenance it is uh, it is pretty much what you need out there so uh just before we get to the last cards here i would say believe in yourself i mean even if the big thing is not about to come throughout this month you this this month is a, a month of a preparation where you have to prepare and sort out everything that it is out of control by that moment so you can prepare yourself to face this uh this huge humongous um enterprise which is about to come into your life in a month or two or maybe in a half an year and uh, the result of all this that we talked about by that point is going to be the six of pentacles with the ace of pentacles and that is the well-deserved progression here what we can see sagittarius is that at the end of the month you will get your uh, very rare 
opportunity to further thy goal. That, that is not an opportunity for a new thing, one more time, but to further thy goal. So if, if your goal is um, to be in a beautiful relationship with somebody you know, you will have that opportunity to establish it. Should your goal is to be uh, in a good position in your job, you will have that opportunity to establish it. In, basically, by the end of the month, you will have the opportunity to establish a har harmony into your existing relationships, okay, into your existing relationships and success into your existing business. That is literally where you are going from, and it's kind of like it's close to it's close to mind because if you do present yourself being reliable uh, to undertake the responsibilities you signed up for, you kind of like find the best strategies to push forward with your. Um, with your agenda and you do not allow anybody to mess around with you then you will well deserve that opportunity to establish harmony and success into either your business or into either your career and make no mistake when that opportunity comes about you will feel deep content into what you did you will feel exhilaration some of you even ecstasy that is going to be there but also what this is going to do is adjust your environment everything that happened to you which was mis uh, misjudging you or unjust to you is going to be fixed because here the six of pentacles plays the role of the hierarchy okay the hierarchy in between the people and therefore the hierarchy is going to be brought to bear and everybody is going to know their place some in the easy way others will have to learn the hard way of it and so with that said this was uh, your uh, monthly tarot reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it sagittarius and uh, we may see each other around until then bye